gonna go ahead and replumb those three areas where the water's leaking. We're leaking from this right here, from right here, and also from down here. Let's turn everything off right now, make sure it's not gonna come back on. So what you're gonna need is some good uh, PVC glue. I use a pool tight. This one's good for high PSI, which will be your choice with the pool equipment. You'll need some two inch pipes, or if you have one and a half, one and a half inch pipes. You'll need some elbows. This is also a handy piece too, it's a sharper angle. And this is also really handy, it's called a fitting extender. I'll show you what this does. You'll need some couplings, two inch couplings also. So the fitting extender comes in handy if you have an area where you can't really cut the pipe. You can actually slide it right over the fitting. So it fits over actually the coupling that goes over the two inch pipe and then you put your pipe on this end here. So it's a great handy thing, it's called a fitting extender. And the last thing you'll need is a pipe cutting tool or a hacksaw. I'm gonna make my first cut right here. Cut this elbow off. Okay, cut that all the way through and I'm gonna cut down here Okay, so I got that cut off here. Now I'm gonna cut right down here in this bottom elbow. It's also leaking down here. Okay, it's also leaking right here in this pipe, so I'm gonna actually take it off from the elbow here also and replumb that whole section. I'm gonna go ahead and cut right here also now. I'm gonna cut this part of the elbow off now also. I'm gonna put the elbows on just to make sure everything lines up. We're not gonna glue it yet. I wanna make sure that it's lined up here. You can see that it's pretty lined up. It's kind of hard to tell in the video, but looks like I got a straight line right here to put the pipes. And so it looks like it's lined up pretty straight. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the pipe and go ahead and do this part. So when I measure, I'm going to go into the elbow up to where the pipe sits in there. You can see there's a little ridge in there, and that's where the pipe actually will sit in. So that's where I'll do my measurement from, and I'll measure into this other elbow here. I'm going to mark this pipe 10 inches. I'm going to cut it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this one here. And I'm going to go ahead and line it up one more time to make sure before I glue it in to get in. And that looks like it's going to fit in there nicely with the 10-inch cut. I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on the pipe. Fitting. I'll put some glue around the edge of the pipe also. You want to use a pretty generous amount of glue. Use too little glue and it's going to come off. I'm going to go ahead and put this on. You only have a few seconds. You want to twist it on a little bit. Get it lined up to where you want it. And it dries really quick. And I'll do the same thing with this one here. Again, it dries really fast. You want to make sure you get it in there. Get it lined up to where you want it. Since this end is on the pump, I actually have some slack. I can move it back and forth a little bit. So let's get this pipe glued here. Let's try. Some glue inside here. Glue around here. Glue around this side. And some glue inside here. And again, you want to make sure you put enough glue because don't it's going to come off come it'll start leaking on you let's slide this one in give it a twist make sure it's in there snug do that one also and so that pipe is on good this one's going to be a little trickier i don't have the same slack i'm going to have it's not attached to the pump so i can't really move it but i lined up the elbows here and i have the pvc pipe it looks like it's going to line up good right here at this angle. So I'll show you how I do this one. This one's a little different. I cut the pipe to match. I'm going to go ahead and glue the elbow down first on the bottom. Then I'll put the pipe in and I'll do the elbow on top last. Again, you have limited time before the glue dries. So you want to make sure everything is lined up when you do this project. So I'm going to have this angled up at the right angle that I think I need. So I'm going to glue that one on. Take it off, I'm going to glue it. i got to try to remember the angle that it's at. This glue dries really quick. It might be fast. Then you want to give it a little bit of twist. Make sure there's no grass there. That'd be an issue. Adjust the angle. Leave that to where I want it. OK. 
Okay. Glue this part in. Give it a little twist. Looks like I'm at the right location. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here. And I'll glue that part on last. this part onto the backwash valve. Glue in there. Glue around here. You can go ahead and paint the pipes when you're finished to make it look neater. And there you go. And that's replumbing three separate leaks right there. And I basically just used the elbow connectors and the two inch PVC pipe. You can leave it off. I usually leave it off for 24 hours just to make sure everything has a chance to cure. I don't take any chances. I don't want to have to replumb anything. That's how you repair any leaking pipes you may have. Okay, back over here. It looks like everything is good. Priming up. It looks like it's holding up well. There's no loose on the pipe. 